You good? Yes. Sure, sure. Yes. I, I don't like formal settings, so I'll be moving around, you know, just to make you guys feel comfortable. Okay? Let me first start by introducing myself. Before I can do that, welcome to Soul Black University. Give yourself a round of applause. Congratulations for being selected for Bachelor of Education because as you might have noticed during the uh, application process, it is not easy to get into the BA program. So if you're sitting here, give yourself a pat on the shoulder as well. <laughs> um, as you have heard, my name is Ntaza Makutu. I am a fourth year Bachelor of Education in Intermediate Phase Teaching student. I major in languages, social sciences, and life skills. So don't look at me in a weird way that she's not even wearing shoes. I'm funky like that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I'm in the SRC. I think most of you saw me yesterday with the introduction. Yes. Um, I currently serve as the Transformation and Student Development Officer. So I also coordinate academic issues of students. So you, you will see me a lot on campus, in the residences, in the cafeteria, wherever. I am like that. It's like I'm a fly or something. But a good one. A good one. <laughs> um, also, I advocate for mental health. I also, what should I say? A barefoot warrior? Yes. Um, the reason why I'm not wearing shoes is because we created awareness and it is such a privilege and honor to have the maker or the creator of the sandals amongst us, Tremaine Key Sandal. Yeah. As a student in general, you have to be concerned about what is happening in your campus, locally and globally as well. So, as a, a thank you so much, Ms. Hanukkah, for inviting me to share what it really means to be a student teacher. There are four points that I've like prepared for conversation purposes. Um, why did I decide to become a teacher? What did I learn in my time here at SPU as a student teacher? And a little bit of advice to you as you're embarking on your four year journey. It might sound wrong, but honestly, it's not. I started in 2017, and when I look back, I'm like, wow, that was fast. It's 2020, I'm completing my degree this year. That was really fast. So you, you need to have that kind of mindset that it's not gonna be a long journey, but make it worth it. Enjoy the process. It's not going to be easy. I'm not going to lie, Ms. Hanukkah, Dr. Barnett, Dr. Darius. I'm not going to lie. It's not easy, but it's possible. And it's worth it. So why did, I become, why did I decide to become a teacher? Back in primary school, our teachers used to say that ah, teaching is such a boring profession. It's all chalk and talk. But when you get to some like university, you kind of have um, a change of mindset, as well as you are embarking on a journey that you are going to change the narrative. When you look at a Solplaki student or graduate, you will definitely see that that is not the teacher that was teaching or that has been prepared to teach in a 1994 kind of way. So we are funky, we are energetic. I don't know of any teachers not full of energy, even our lecturers, they really cool. But, <laughs> they cool but, there's a bad part. They cool but they want their work to be done in a very professional manner. So I decided to become a teacher because it's a calling. Teaching is a calling. It's not just a, a decision that you make in the morning, you're like, hey, I wanna be a teacher. No, it needs to start from the heart. And that is where it started for me. I remember I have two siblings back at home. One is 10 years this year. And I used to like help him with his homework. But then the way I helped him, I felt like, ah, but they can be a teacher. This is my thing, you know? So it needs to start in the mind. You need to visualize yourself 
in a classroom. You need to visualize yourself wearing heels because I know ladies, they like wearing heels to work. You know? <laughs> I don't want to lie. I, I, I would wake up every morning and still decide to be a teacher. It's not a thing that I regret. I mean, like four years, guys. Four years is not a child's play. So you wouldn't waste your time and your energy, your effort, as well as money to study something that you're not interested in or something that you are called for. Because, like I said, I believe being in a classroom expanding knowledge with young minds because you are going to be older than your learners right right and it, it's a privilege it's an honor to stand in front of kids or even sit at the back but the purpose of sharing knowledge with them that is an honor for me and that is what i want so that is why i decided to become a teacher you know the other thing what did i learn in my time here at SPU as a student teacher. <laughs> I remember in our first year, we've got a module called the Individual in Education Context. You're gonna do it for the first six months of your time here. It's fun, it's cool, but it needs expression. And that is what I love about being in Soplak University. You're allowed to be yourself. You are not confined to act in a certain way, speak in a certain way, walk in a certain way. You are allowed to redefine yourself as well as define yourself. Because how you were defined back in high school or even at home is not how you're gonna see yourself when you're here. And that is okay. That is okay to stand in front of a mirror and realize that, wow, girl, you hot. Maybe you were not told back at home that, actually, you're a hot girl. So here is a platform to define yourself, not only personally, but academically as well. And don't put a pressure on yourself. Maybe in high school, your high school teachers used to say, you can't get to varsity with 80s. You need to be 100% student. Well, guess what? You do need to be a kind of 100% student, but don't pressurize yourself. Nobody is like, oh, I believe and I trust and I know in my portfolio that is what I'm going to work towards. Everybody should feel included. Whether we are over a thousand students in the campus, but have a peace of mind that you are okay the way you are. Because if you don't become comfortable with who you are, it's gonna be difficult when you get into a classroom of 42, like realistically 42 different learners who don't know you and then you have to introduce yourself you have to find your ground and as well you need to be comfortable with teaching these learners i mean if you're not comfortable with who you are it's going to be difficult you're going to have a difficult journey so we need to start there as we are embarking on the orientation and registration journey make some time to sit back and allow yourself to be. Because in most cases, we're not living, we're just surviving. You know, I need to finish my degree, I need to get a job, I need this, I need this. But you don't take a moment to actually be, exist. And by existing, that means fly. Like I said, now I'm a butterfly. You will find me there, you will find me there, you will find me there, and I will still flourish because I made it a point to be comfortable with myself. That is where we need to start. Be comfortable with who you are, and then you will flourish, honestly. And then, that is basically my advice to you. But I'm not gonna be academically boring and tell you in your first year you're gonna do this, second year you're gonna do this, third year you're gonna do this because you're gonna get that in your lectures. But what I can say that the minute you step into a lecture hall, decide that this is what I want to do. This is my journey. Because if you're still having second thoughts, it's gonna be boring. I mean like, imagine studying to be a teacher just because your mom said, go and study teaching or go and get it, that be a degree. It's not gonna be fun. But if you decide that whatever comes, 
it, it can be, what do you say? Rain or high waters, something like that. Hell or high waters, right? Hell or high waters. I'm still going to do this. And that is what I believe that each and every one of us here should have in their mind. He said that this is what I need to do and flourish in it. Whether it's intermediate phase. I love intermediate phase because, wow, we active teachers. We, we really active. We, we're not in classes that we only deliver content in terms of like preparing for it. And then you can't look at the nine-year-old and say, photosynthesis is this and this and this and No, you need to break it down. Make them understand. P, love the content. Speak the content. Walk the content, you know? And then that is basically what I wanted to share with you from my heart. And if there are any questions or comments, I know that some of you are like wondering how do I do all this stuff and some see this and that and that and that and that. One other thing that I need to share with you as student teachers is that you need to be aware of what is happening around you. Have conversations about what is happening around you. Because in most cases, um, your lived experiences as well as your learners' lived experiences will open the door for you to have conversations with them. Even in your class, in your classes, that is also one way of contributing to the society by talking about what is currently happening. So be involved, take care of yourself, like literally from your mind to your toes. And if you really would like these funky sandals that I'm wearing, you may get it from Termaine or from me with 80 bucks. And that is all. Thank you.